Histology of the integument. We did do histology of just the epidermis to learn the five layers, and we learned the come, let's get sunburned. Now we're going deeper, and I'm using a reference to show all the layers of the skin, but remember when we did stratified squamous epithelium? That's that dark purple ribbon that I expand when we covered epithelial tissue. The layer is the epidermis. So if I expand over here, from here up, all of this dark purple ribbon, and you can see it extends down here because it's still epithelial tissue. This is all the epidermis. Type of tissue, stratified squamous epithelium. When I go deeper and we get into the dermis, this is all now connective tissue. The hypodermis is also connective tissue. So let's expand to our right over here. When we looked at the model, we said just that first layer underneath or deep to the epidermis is my papillary layer of the dermis. So specifically, it's the papillary layer. What type of tissue is this? Areolar connective tissue. Areolar connective tissue. As I go deeper, the rest of the dermis is my reticular layer, and that type of tissue is dense irregular connective tissue. So we have the epidermis, stratified squamous epithelium. The dermis is two layers, papillary layer and reticular layer. Type of tissue, areolar connective tissue, and then dense irregular connective tissue. This is not shown in the hypodermis, but if we go into the hypodermis, remember the primary type of tissue is adipose tissue. We just did a video on adipose tissue to look at all those clear white bubbles. Other things I can see is the hair. Remember we can divide it into different regions inside the skin. The hair is called the root as it goes above the skin or outside, it's called the shaft. Wrapping around it, are these little bubbly structures here, here, and it's been cut. A lot of times I'll tell my students, it depends on the view, because I can see a little bit of hair here. So it depends on how it's cut. Did I cut my arm like this, or did I cut it like this? So you get a different reference on the side. But all of these structures, but around the hair, this is a sebaceous gland, a sebaceous gland. These dark ones down here, where it almost looks like a cut spaghetti ball, here and here, those are my eccrine sweat glands for my watery, perspiration and then I can see a slight cut here here's some smooth muscle and there's some smooth muscle typically we'll see them riding against the hairs and I can see them here this is erector pili erector pili muscles remember the type of tissue is a smooth muscle but they tend to help with the hair move the hair and keep it erect so erector pili this is not a good representation here they tend to slide along next to the hair but i can see them here erector pili muscles so this is histology expanding into the dermis and hypodermis